Hello, welcome back. So in this very getting started project, we're going to create a simple project that just counts a variable and then we're going to convert this project into a micro C OS3 application. So um, we create a new project by coming over here, project, new project. So we can store it in a special location. I'll just create a folder over here and I'll call this project getting started. Call this folder getting started and i'll call the project actually artos counter it's just going to be a counter variable that is incremented in a thread so then i'll save it and once that is done i'm brought to this page over here i'm asked to choose my um, microcontroller board so whichever board you have you just search it over here currently i'm using the stm32 f411 vet i search over here i select this I click OK and we'll go to this page. This page here is for managing our runtime environment. And what we need to do is come over here, select call under CMSYS, and then under device, we select startup. And that's all for now. So I'll click OK. So once that is done, we can come here and then rename the target. My target now is STM32 F4. To rename, you just click in here once and then I just type the new name up then I'm going to create a new file in here I'm going to create a .c file so I right click and select add new item to group up and then I select this file type and then the name of the file is going to be up like this and then now we are set to go so this is simple um, a very simple application which increments a global variable so all I'm going to do is I'm going to type int main over here and then within the int main, of course, we're going to have our infinite loop, while one. And in here, we're going to have a variable which I'm going to declare over here as u int 32 underscore t. And I'm going to call this variable counter. And the reason why we have this is we've not included the standard C library. So I'm going to say include std int dot h now the error disappeared so in here all we're going to do is say counter plus plus like this and um, I'm going to rebuild the project and we've got one warning is because we don't have lines down here I'll rebuild again zero errors zero warnings and I'm going to come over here and the default frequency of my board is 16 megahertz so I'm going to set that over here and I'll come to debug under debug I'll select the ST link debugger under settings I'll come over here under flash download I'll take over here reset and run then I'll click OK then I'll click OK once that is done I'll just click over here to download onto my board and download complete so I'm just going to go to the debug view and see if indeed my counter variable is incrementing as the code is running. So I'll click over here. OK. And all I want to do is find the counter, right click, and then I want to add it to watch window one. Watch one over here like this. Watch one is here. I can just drag it out. And then shape it a bit and I can right click and disable hexadecimal display and then I can just click over here to run the code I'll click here and as you can see our counter variable is incrementing so the code is running so this is just an example the counter increment here is just to indicate a particular algorithm we are running in a function or a particular peripheral we are controlling. So what we're going to do is this simple application, we're going to convert it to a micro C or S3 real-time application. In the same way, rather than using counter variables, I, we could have demonstrated this using LEDs or UART data transfer or something like that. But I didn't want to get us started with initializing peripherals and all of that. So we're using a simple counter as an example. In the same way, we could have had the four different LEDs blink 
but all of that will be experimented with later now it's just you know this lesson is just to introduce you purely to the kernel without any external um, peripheral initializations and all of that stuff so now let's convert the simple um, the simple application into a micro C OS3 real-time application